Libertarian possibilism SP, possibilismo libertario, was a political current within the early 20th century Spanish anarchist movement which advocated achieving the anarchist ends of ending the state and capitalism with participation inside structures of contemporary parliamentary democracy. The name of this political position appeared for the first time between 1922–1923 within the discourse of Catalan anarcho-syndicalist Salvador Segui when he said, we have to intervene in politics in order to take over the positions of the bourgeoisie. History During the autumn of 1931 the «Manifesto of the Thirty» was published by militants of the anarchist trade union Confederación Nacional del Trabajo. Among those who signed it there was the CNT General Secretary 1922-1923 Joan Perro, Angel Pestaña CNT General Secretary in 1929, and Juan López Sánchez. They were called Trentismo and they were calling for a more moderate political line within the Spanish anarchist movement. In 1932 they established the Syndicalist Party which participates in the 1936 Spanish general elections and proceed to be a part of the leftist coalition of parties known as the Popular Front obtaining two congressmen Pestaña and Benito Pabon. In 1938 Horacio Prieto, general secretary of the CNT, proposed that the Iberian Anarchist Federation transforms itself into a libertarian socialist party and that it participates in the national elections. Topic. Precedents and later cases of anarchist intervention in parliamentary and state politics Pierre-Joseph Proudhon ran for the French Constituent Assembly in April 1848, but was not elected, although his name appeared on the ballots in Paris, Lyon, Boussançon, and Lille, France. He was successful in the complementary elections of June 4. The Catalan politician Francis Pi I. Margal became the principal translator of Proudhon's works into Spanish and later briefly became President of Spain in 1873 while being the leader of the Democratic Republican Federal Party. For prominent anarcho-syndicalist Rudolf Rocker, "...the first movement of the Spanish workers was strongly influenced by the ideas of Pi Y. Margal, leader of the Spanish Federalists and disciple of Proudhon." Pi Y. Margal was one of the outstanding theorists of his time and had a powerful influence on the development of libertarian ideas in Spain. His political ideas had much in common with those of Richard Price, Joseph Priestley Sick, Thomas Paine, Jefferson, and other representatives of the Anglo-American liberalism of the first period. He wanted to limit the power of the state to a minimum and gradually replace it by a socialist economic order. Pi I. Margal was a dedicated theorist in his own right, especially through book-length works such as La Reaction y la Revolución and Reaction and Revolution from 1855, Las Nacionalidades and Nationalities from 1877, and La Federación from 1880. On the other hand Fermín Salvochia was a mayor of the city of Cadiz and a president of the province of Cadiz. He was one of the main propagators of anarchist thought in that area in the late 19th century and is considered to be, perhaps the most beloved figure in the Spanish anarchist movement of the 19th century. In November 1936 the Popular Front government appointed the prominent anarcho-feminist Federica Montseny as Minister of Health. In doing so, she became the first woman in Spanish history to be a cabinet minister. When the Republican forces lost the Spanish Civil War, the city of Madrid was turned over to the Francoist forces in 1939 by the last non-Francoist mayor of the city, the anarchist Melcher Rodriguez Garcia. In 1950 a clandestine group formed within the Francophone Anarchist Federation called Organisation Ponce Bataille led by the platformist George Fontanes. The OPB pushed for a move which saw the FA change its name into the Fédération Communiste Libertaire FCL after the 1953 Congress in Paris, while an article in Le Libertaire indicated the end of the cooperation with the French Surrealist group led by André Breton. The new decision-making process was founded on unanimity, each person has a right of veto on the orientations of the Federation. The FCL published the same year the Manifeste du Communisme Libertaire. Several groups quit the FCL in December 1955, disagreeing with the decision to present «revolutionary candidates» to the legislative elections. 
On 15 to 20 August 1954, the Ve Intercontinental Plenum of the CNT took place. A group called Entente Anarchiste appeared which was formed of militants who didn't like the new ideological orientation that the OPB was giving the FCL seeing it was authoritarian and almost Marxist. The FCL lasted until 1956 just after it participated in state legislative elections with ten candidates. This move alienated some members of the FCL and thus produced the end of the organization. See also Libertarian socialism within the labor movement and parliamentary politics Anarchism in Spain Possibilism – politics Reformist socialism Impossibilism References Further reading Israel Renif, Possibilisme Libertaire, Noir et Rouge, and Degree 41, My 1968, pp. 16 23. Freddy Gomez, César M. Lorenzo, Le Mouvement Anarchiste en Espagne, Le Monde Libertaire, 14 20 September 2006, Lire en Line. Horacio Martinez Prieto, Possibilismo Libertario, Ivry sur Seine, 1966, OCLC 492,300,171 inches Burnett Bolladin, Elizabeth Scheidel Boucher, La Révolution Espagnole, La Gauche et la lutte pour le pouvoir, Rudo Iberico, 1977, page 535 Jesus Ruiz Pérez, Fundamentos Ideológicos del Possibilismo Libertario Bajo la Tu República, Las Razones de Félix Morga, Alcalde de Najera, Comunista y Libertario, Brocar, Cuadernos de Investigación Histórica, and 25, Universite de la Rioja, 2001, pp. 163-178, Janvier 2001, ISSN 0214-4670, Lire en Line. Jesus Ruiz, Possibilismo Libertario, Filas Morga, Alcalde de Najera, 1891-1936, Ayuntamiento de Najera, La Rioja, 2003, ISBN 84-688-2910-2. Chema Barro Berriazar, Possibilismo S. Tension, Reflexiones en torno al Possibilismo y el Maximalismo, Polémica, Mai 2006, Lire en Line. Benjamin Lajo Cosido, Possibilismo Libertario, Fundación Andreu Nin, Avril 2007, Lire en Line. Jesus Diaz Herrera, El Liderazgo Politico de Ángel Pestaña, de la Ortodoxia Anarquista al Possibilismo Libertario, Descontrol Editorial, 2015, ISBN 978-84-16553-47-1. External links Manifestos of the Syndicalist Party in Spanish <laughs>